Hello, today we're gonna see how you can review pull requests directly from Visual Studio Code. And you can do that from this tab, where for example you can list all open pull requests that are in the remote repository, and by clicking on one of them you can see the changed files, the description, with all the relevant details, but it's not enabled by default. So let's start from the beginning. All you have to do is actually install in the official GitHub extension, and if you watch my previous video you probably already have it in your VS Code. It's this one, GitHub pull requests and issues. This extension will enable this menu option, which is the one I showed earlier. For this video, I'm gonna use one of my open source projects closed tab. Since William, one of our contributors, made a pull request, I'm gonna review this specific pull request and show you what this extension can do. First of all, here you can see the list of all changes files, as usual in yellow because they've been modified. From here, you can see these two icons, which allows me to open the right side, this is the version that is being changed on the pull request, or the left side, that is the version that was previously in the main branch. On a more general overview, if you click the description, it will load this page directly within VS Code with all the relevant details of your pull request. So you can see here the main thread of comments, reviewers, assignees, labels. Let me try to assign a label. I can click this cogwheel over here and the quick quick menu will appear. So this is a testing pull request, so I can hit OK. If I want to remove a label, I can just click the X icon right next to the label. Let me add it back because I wanted this to show up. And I can assign the issue, for example, to myself. Now that the issue is assigned to myself, it does not only show up on all open, but also on assign to me. Just give it a second to download and there you have it. But as you can see, there's also this icon on the right side. What does it do? Edit query. Well, this opens my settings of VS Code basically, and it generates this array of three elements. If you notice, waiting for review, assigned to me and created by me are the options I can find here to group the pull request. So, for example, if I want to create a new one, let's say I want a new um, menu here that is pull request where I've been mentioned. I can, with this special syntax, filter for is open and mentions the current user. If I hit save here, you will see that this is updating and there you can find the pull requests where I've been mentioned, or actually the pull requests that are matching this filter. Now, since I'm on VS Code and I'm doing a code review of a pull request, one of the biggest advantages is the checkout button. As opposite to doing code review from GitHub or from the web in general, here I'm directly inside VS Code. So I can at any time check out the branch and now I can actually work on this branch locally, as you can also see from this bar on the bottom side, where it says that I'm actually in the branch PR, the name of the user and the PR number. If I want to get back to my branch, there's this handy button check out main, which automatically brings me back to main. Now, I can write some comments here on the entire pull request, or by checking the files, you can see the plus button next to the lines, as you would see anyway on GitHub, and from here you can actually add some comments. For example, here William added some tests, so I can, for example, add a comment here and tell him to remove the previous ones. Or I can do a multi-line comments by dragging the mouse, this will select both tests, and here I can say now that our test works, we can probably remove this. And I can start the review. This is pretty much what you can do from GitHub, but again on VS Code. Now that I added a comment, this bar opened where you can see all the comments in the current pull request you're reviewing. And now that I added two comments, I can see that this comment has been added on the main thread, and also the change I requested is now displayed again on the main thread. Now, I don't want to add this comment because it was only a test, so I can delete it. And now that this comment is actually one I want to keep, I can submit my review. One extra thing that is missing here, let me go back to the VS Code branch. You can see the results of all the GitHub actions and pipelines you might have on the right side of the pull request. And also, if you scroll down the description, you can see a list of each failing and successful checks the pull request has. 
Anyway, if you feel something is missing, at any time you can click here on the pull request number and it will open a new browser with the pull request on GitHub. You can see here the comment I added, the, I played around with the label, I self-assigned. So that's really that simple. And this was how you can review pull requests from VS Code. If you watch my previous video here, you can see how you can create a pull request from VS Code and I will upload here a video on how you can manage issues from this VS Code extension. So check out the video, subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching and see you soon!